Hey guys, it is so nice outside today. And so I'm gonna start planting. This is the first thing to go in the ground for this year and I'm ready for it. We have about four weeks, three weeks left until our very last frost. But our 10 day forecast, we don't have anything below 32 degrees. So I'm gonna take this chance and all the things that I'm planting are cold tolerant. So I'm gonna be in this bed right here behind me and I'm gonna get stuff planted. I'm so excited. I've already done some digging, so my hands are a little bit dirty. Uh, it feels so nice to be back in the garden, but these are the first things that are going in the ground for the year. I cannot wait for this. I just can't wait for this spring, this summer. Um, I think it's gonna be so beautiful back here. Um, I do have a friend, I have Janie coming up. Um, she's from Dig Plant Water Repeat and she'll be up here. So I'm trying to tidy up the yard just a tad bit for her. Um, yeah, so let me show you guys what I'm planting. So the very first thing that I'm planting is this Mondo grass. It's, um, it's a green one, it's not the black one. I thought the black one would have been cool, but I think the green will make it pop a little bit better. They get about 12 to 18 inches tall and wide and there are zones, I think three through nine. Nope. Their hardy zones five through 10. So they're more, they do better with warmth. So if you're in those lower zones, this isn't gonna be for you. Um, but it'll add some really nice texture to this flower bed. The next thing that I have are these little cyclamen. I picked up like 12 of these and I just loved the like purple on the very tips of them and then the white on the top. I'm not like a big cyclamen fan, but my husband likes them and I thought that these ones were pretty. And the last thing that I'm gonna add to this bed is some candy tuft. I love the white blooms of this. We had this in our old house and it was beautiful, especially when it was all blooming and you get this like white snowy mound, um, especially early spring. And then it blooms again, at, like towards the end of summer. We always got another flush. These were like $7 from Lowe's and I picked up like six of them. I picked up seven of them, um, but they're really pretty. I like the blooms on them. Um, and I think that once these guys fill out, they get about two feet wide and about 10 inches tall. So they're not very large, but they do like take up a good amount of space, but they're not gonna get tall. So all of these things that I have here are kind of like lower lying plants. Um, so let's get these in the ground. I'm stoked to be in the garden today. So one thing that I do have to pay attention to is that I do have a bunch of my daffodils coming up. And then also you can see right here, these are fritillaria that are coming up. So I'm trying not to plant anything too close to this brick. I also need to come in here and pull the grass out. In between planting these plants, I am still burning holes in some of this fabric cloth for the cut flower garden. Um, but the tank that I have, the little like nozzle thing, it freezes up on the inside. So I get like half of a row done and then it freezes. So I have to like leave it in the sun, let it thaw and then come back to it. So while it's thawing, I'm just gonna dig some holes.
got it done. I'm now sitting in the flower beds. I'm super dirty, but it was so nice to be in the ground. Um, I had my husband helping me with the filming, which she doesn't enjoy doing, but it was really nice to have some help filming this time, make sure everything was like in focus and going smoothly. Um, I think it turned out beautiful and I already saw a honeybee on one of the cyclamen, so that was really cool to see bees already out and active. Um, I actually think that we're gonna try to get bees this year. I, um, I know a guy who works at a bee company and he was talking about trading um, some bee supplies for, um, I'm also a barber, so he was talking about trading bee supplies for haircuts and I was like, yes, deal. So let me show you guys how this looks. Um, I still need to mulch the bed, but I think I'm gonna wait a little bit longer um, to mulch anything. Um, I think I'm gonna try a different mulch this year than I tried last year. So yeah, let me show you guys how this looks. I'm really happy with how it turned out. So this is the area, which last year, this whole area right here was grass. And I took all of this off and made this like little curve in it. And so this is all brand new flower bed and I planted daffodils last year um, in the fall. And you guys can see the cyclamen are in and the mondo grass and the candy tuft. And I love this. I need something a little bit bigger to go right back here in this area. But other than that, I'm super happy with how this turned out and it makes me even more excited for springtime. So that is gonna be it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.